Hello folks, and welcome back to Twitch.tv slash games with Nick. More Gabriel Mike today. Oh. That is a pretty terrible, terribly bottled foot. So, you're up. Yeah, kinda inevitable. So, did you have breakfast? Uh, no, but I think I'll go down. I mean, while you shower and all that. I'll, I'll just get out of your hair, Hello? so... Hello? Did, uh, did somebody die? Hey, Mose. Yeah, hi. What's up? Does anyone else hear Twilight Zone music, or, or is it just me? What's this? Oh, yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. Where'd you find it? Our friend Larry Chester buried it last night. Or should I say, Larry Sinclair. Sinclair, huh? Son of a bitch. It's about the Stuart bloodline. Did you read it then? I just skimmed it. I've been working on the treasure oh. map. Well, would you mind reading it? I've got to figure out why Sinclair lied and why he felt compelled to play Jolly Roger last night. Say, I I'll read it, you know, if you're busy with the map, that is. Christ will do it. Why the hell are you so interested anyway? Just trying to be helpful. Jeez, fine. I'll just go. Wait. Um, Grace, I'll grab a shower later, so, uh, you know, the room's all yours. God! Get a grip, Mac. Ugh. Christ, you retard. This better not be about what I thought. Whoa! Was well, not expecting the R word. Shit. <sighs> I'm going to my room. Come by later if you want to talk about it. The R word is not okay, Mosley. So, uh, reminder that, uh, this is a uh, game that was made in the late oh, 90s when uh, I feel it. some I feel things feel were acceptable that are not these days. Monsieur Weeks spends the night with another guest. No, I have already cleaned Mademoiselle Buton's room, and where else could he have been? The American girl stays with her boss. As for the Lady Howard and Estelle, hmm. Enough, Roxanne. Lock the door and touch nothing. We shall see if Monsieur Weeks returns. Oh, oui, Jean. to uh, be a little smooth with Roxanne and see what happens. Can you just walk in? No? Excuse me, Roxanne. Oh, Monsieur Knight. Do you need something? How about you? Well, let's try to flirt a little. Say, Roxanne. <laughs> My pants are a little dirty. Oh. Would you be able to clean them for me? Oh, <laughs> we <laughs> certainly. Just uh, leave them with me. Well, gee, I was kind of hoping you'd do it while I wait. Oh, oh, but, 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 monsieur, you would not be wearing any pants. Call me Gabriel. Oh, <laughs> God, he is so sultry. You joke with me, no? Yeah. I'm a getter. So also a reminder that uh, that is Tim Curry voicing uh, Gabriel Knight. Um, so yeah. What's up this morning? I saw you talking to Jean. Oh, monsieur. I am very afraid for Mr. Wilkes. This morning his window, it is wide open and things in his room, they are not right. Usually I find his night clothes on the floor, yes? But this morning, 
There is no sign of them, and his razor and toothbrush, they have not been used. It is as if he never got up this morning, yet he is not there. Gee, that sounds bad. Why don't you let me take a look? Uh, I, I don't know. Roxanne, this could be serious. Mr. Wilkes would want us to make sure he's not in any trouble. I agree. That is why I go to Jean. But he thinks I have the big, uh, imagination. Personally, I've learned never to underestimate a woman. <laughs> Monsieur. All right, I will show you. Follow me. Please, Monsieur Knight, if Monsieur Wilkes returns, do not tell him I let you in, yes? I won't. Thanks. All right, let's see what Wilkes was up to. Nothing in there but dirty laundry. I thought he had more papers and stuff lying around. Do one of the... Oh. Is that a key? This is a key. I don't need... Oh, that's just this moped. Was a I got some in my If someone did break in here. Okay. Never mind. Oh also sorry for uh having hit things. I don't see any signs of forced entry on the window. It's wide open, alright. Creepy. It reminds me of my dream. That's as ugly as the one in our room. The springs are a bit overworked, but other than that... I don't quite remember. I think we remember what happened. Wilkes. That's his clothes, but where's his equipment? I just don't remember what I'm supposed to right now. Wilkes's stuff is still here. I'd better leave. His moped is here. I don't know if it's which is strange. Sure, there is anything. Oh, I don't see any signs of forced entry no. on the window. No. I know that there is anything I can do. It's wide open, all right. Yeah. Creepy. It reminds me of my dream. I'll step out. Because there's... I better close everything in case someone comes in. Oh, talk to her again. Roxanne? Oui? Did you find any clues in the room of Monsieur Wilkes? Not exactly, but don't worry. We'll find him. Yes, Monsieur. Still on that one, are we? Two words. Get help. Yeah, you shouldn't tie people up. Uh, I've gotten myself in enough trouble already. Okay. Well, um... I... Was I here? Get in here. I'm listening. Right, let's start with the big thing. Well, I really did it this time. I knew it! 
You did, didn't you? Did you? Yeah. Key Rest. Oh, Key Rest. How about some support here? So what happened anyway? When she left here last night, she didn't want anything to do with you. Well, it was an accident. Right. You're the only guy I know who could accidentally end up in bed with the most beautiful woman from 50 miles. What about Madeline? What about Madeline? Shakes. You know, you got kind of a reverse rose-colored glasses thing going on. Must be your fear of commitment affecting your optical nerves. Optical nerves. She's nice, she's smart, she's funny. You ought to have your head examined. And besides which, I ought to break your neck for hurting her feelings. Did you get a look at her face this morning? No, knock it off. I feel bad enough. I just don't know how to act. I mean, God, she's like my sister or something. Oh. Well, I suppose you could try to talk to her about your feelings, get it all out in the open. Nah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Just pretend it never happened. Oh. God. Really? Just act like nothing happened. Try it. Okay. Anything else? I can't here? think of anything to talk to Mose about no. at the moment. All right. Um, let's try to figure out though what happened to Wilkes, I guess. Have you seen Wilkes yet, John? No, Monsieur. Have you? No. I'm sure he'll be popping it up any time now. Anybody in the dining room? No later risers, huh? I believe that's Wilkes' bike. Try to maybe go and talk to Gray. He'll talk to me. It's not a given, but it's a shot. I'm gonna say, I am a little stumped. Oh, I should uh, add this. I can't, can't go in and do It's locked. Not that there was anything. I wouldn't want to break. So this is a variation on Gabriel Knight's theme. Won't talk to me. John won't talk. John has nothing to say. 
Ox is gone. I guess there isn't much to do besides try random spots until I can. I'll go get the. Buddy Howard and his stellar hair movie. Morning, ladies. Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? Oh, just passing by. I see you've narrowed down your theory. Really? Some people haven't the slightest consideration. It's all right, Lily. Bother. It is not. Do you mind, Mr. Knight? Estelle and I are on a private enterprise, and we don't need any help or supervision from you. I wasn't offering any. Very well. Then be gone. Go on! Pish posh! You must have a deep desire to humiliate me. Welks is not here. Can we even talk to Larry Sinclair? I have nothing to say to you. Oh, I think you do, Mr. Sinclair. Perhaps you had better come in. I've learned that you were, in fact, hired by Prince James. Good. But that doesn't excuse your prying into my affairs. You've destroyed my cover. See now, that's the problem with secrets and lies. It's impossible to tell which ones might be relevant until you dig them up and take a good whiff. That's between you and Prince James. But I can tell you that you're treading on thin ice. This is a delicate situation. You might find yourself in very hot water indeed. I'm getting confused. Am I supposed to watch out for thin ice or hot water? <laughs> very amusing, I'm sure. We'll see how your cavalier attitude serves you with the prince. Now, what is it that you want? Do you know Montreux, the owner of the local vineyard? I know of him, of course. It's a small area. Is he one of yours, by any chance? A Freemason? No. At least he's not Scottish right. I wanted to talk to you about your bloodline manuscript. How did you know about that? I followed you last night and dug it up. You what? This is Ew, what? I hope you can appreciate my motivation. I was in the room when Prince James's son was taken. There's very little I wouldn't do to find him. I can't fathom why an outsider like you was hired in the first place. It's absurd. But now that you've seen my manuscript, I hope you finally comprehend that I am not the kidnapper. It's not incriminating in that regard, no. Where is the manuscript? You didn't remove it, did you? I didn't think it was good for it, being out in that damp ground and all. You must return it at once. Yeah, uh-huh, I will. <laughs> but it's at the hotel at the moment, though. Mr. Knight, I suggest you bring it back here immediately. Because if anything happens to that manuscript, Prince James will be very displeased. I will. No problem. Y you know you probably have a copy of it in your computer that you can just reprint, right? Prince James implied that the kidnapping was political. Would the manuscript have anything to do with it? It could. There are those who take exception to the idea of Prince James being on the throne. The throne? What throne? Never mind. Here's what I don't get. Why are you working on the manuscript here? Obviously, you don't need the Templar vibes. There's usually one of us in the area just to keep an eye out. For what? Treasure hunters? For anything. But why you? There is a certain opposition to the manuscript. 
The work on it was to be done discreetly. And you figured they'd never suspect you'd work on it here. Something like that. Of course, you've quite destroyed my anonymity. The manuscript promotes Prince James as king of what? Scotland? Oh, it doesn't promote him as anything, per se. It simply lays out the genealogies. He's clearly the best candidate. Best candidate for what? Are you talking about Scottish independence? No. In our modern world, Scotland is a very small principality indeed. England? The Stuarts have vowed they'd never accept the English throne. Well, what then? It's not for me to say. Well, thankfully, Grace is reading that manuscript, so we'll learn about it at some point. Well, I could keep asking him stuff, but I have the feeling he wouldn't tell me anything. Yeah. I have to go. As you wish. Oh, that uh, changed the time clock, so let's uh, see what people are up to, I guess. There's nobody around, so let's start by going back to Ren. Everybody's having lunch. I don't think anybody really has any tell me. I'll go. Let's start from the Chateau de Blanche Far. What do you appear? Oh, no, I don't mean to exit. Something about the scrolling, and I got screwed up. Nobody in Sword. God. Why oh, you test me so, God? Why you test me so? I just literally do a click, so I'm never gonna get it. Um. Well, whatever. I'm sure it wasn't that important. Check out. Actually, anything on this side. No reason to go on this side. Okay. Um. Yeah, what are you? Oh, somebody's actually at this room. Awesome. Hi, Emilio. Hello, Mr. Knight. So, what you doing up here? Uh, just looking for a quiet spot to meditate. Funny. Most people prefer Tour Magdala or Blanchefort to, uh, meditate. Do they? This location, too, has its benefits, you know. Huh? Um. That's the tomb the sign mentioned.
there are some tire tracks in the dirt. There's still tire tracks from nobody can the cops were on the other side and never thought of looking behind. Boy, French cops. Not great. Where does where at least they took those by. Apparently there is something at Lumnor. Like I thought there was something there. I don't I don't see what it is. Kind of the, the tricky thing about the backgrounds kind of all freaking looking the same. Anything fucking out of place? Like, it should be specifically here, not at Peach Cardu, or there was, they would, or they're not at, uh, Boom Sword, otherwise they would tell me to go to, to oh. Oh boy, do they have a serious gopher problem around here. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hi. Say. See anything at the base? And again, this is when maybe the lower res of all of this does not help, but. I missed something in the early part. There's my bike. Here's the road. There ain't nothing here. Move through. This valley has been called the dead man on regional maps for centuries. Some authors have attempted to link it to the Ren Enigma because one of the parchment ciphers contains the phrase, he is there, dead. I'm sorry, what the actual, uh, wow, this is what we were supposed to notice. Hmm. That's like, what the fuck? Size footprint. I guess you were doing your best with the tools oh. you had, but holy I fucking shit. Alright, Wilkes is that. They must have pulled him from his room last night, but no one heard a thing. How do they do that? And why Wilkes? It 
It's from Wilkes to his publisher. He must have been worried about someone seeing it, so he took it to bed with him. Apparently, he was right to be paranoid. Um. He's been completely drained, just like the two dead Freemasons. Well, I guess that answers the question, what kind of PJs would a man like Wilkes wear? Okay, here's the spot. I'd rather not, thanks. Either the Red Cross had an accident here, or I found Wilkes' missing blood. Okay. We should probably tell this to someone, right? Also, what does this say? Uh, dear Mr. Arthur it's the letter I found in Wilkes's pocket. Dear Mr. Brocklebank, I'm happy to report that everything has done even better than I hoped. I confirmed not only the existence of the object, uh, but found a group of caves that I think will provide access. I'll take lots of pictures and maybe pop by New York when I leave here, right? But I wanted to let you know that you can start starting the calendar for my book. I think we should get it out ASAP, see, because there's lots of snoops snoozing around this thing, and I want to make sure they don't beat us to it. Jay Wilkes. Well, R.I.P. Wilkes. Yeah, I guess we just go back and talk to Mosley, maybe? Let's start with Mosley first. Uh... If I tell Jean about Wilkes, he'll call the police, and I really... The police! ...crawling around the valley. If we haven't resolved this by tomorrow, I'll call them myself. The police! All right, uh-huh, let me knock. I don't want to talk to Mosley anymore. Apparently not, let's just go talk to Grace. Bonjour. Hey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What is she carrying there? And what is Bukeli looking at? What you, what you doing, Madeline? Why did you walk? Purposely all the other way around. Oh. Well, where did the manuscript go? Well, it ain't Ethan Allen. Guess what I found today? What? Wilkes's corpse. What? I found him at Long Moor. Looks like they took him right out of his room last night. Oh my god. Creepy, isn't it? They were in the hotel. Weird, because I was dreaming about them. That's why I, um... Well, uh, how, how was Wilkes killed? Just like Prince James's men. Throat cut, blood drained into a pool. God. Uh, what am I, cursed or something? I spent the entire day in the car with Mallory and McDougal, and then last night, I had dinner with Wilkes, and... What was his big theory, anyway? He had a seismic survey done. They show hollow areas, and he had uncovered a big one. It makes sense, actually, because I've been working on this riddle called Le Serpent Rouge. Sure. You keep working on that. I've got some ideas of my own to follow up. <sighs> Fine. Did you check out the Bloodline manuscript? Yeah, pretty interesting. Where do you want me to start? Well, from the beginning. What's, What's the bloodline? What's the manuscript say about the bloodline? The bloodline thing is major. The descendants of Jesus are called Disposini. Their symbol is the unicorn. Unicorn? Mm-hmm. Supposedly, the horn represents the male phallic symbol, and the unicorn itself represents the fertile Jesus. Well, no wonder the Catholic Church had a conniption. But is there any way this bloodline thing could be legit? Well, there's no reason why Jesus shouldn't have married and had children. Unless you believe any kind of sex is a sin. Personally, I don't. And you certainly don't. 
That's just the land I feed Catholic girls, but go on. <laughs> and it's the kind of thing the early church might have suppressed, if for no other reason than to make sure the bishops of the church had all the power and not the descendants. That explains how it might be possible, but it's hardly proof. True, but if it's all a myth, it's a very old myth. The royal arms of Scotland show a Davidic line of Judah, Disposonic Unicorn, and the Jewish Fleur de Lis. So they've believed they were Disposonic from the Middle Ages at least. What's the manuscript say about the Freemasons? The manuscript came right out and said that the original split between the Templars and the Priory of Sion was over the bloodline. The Priory wanted to support certain French families of Merovingian descent, while the Templars supported the emerging Stuart dynasty. I think it's pretty clear that the Freemasons and the Priory are still fighting over the same issue. Does Sinclair mention the Holy Grail in the manuscript? The Grail represents the bloodline and a kind of noblesse oblige duty to serve mankind. But also, remember what you heard on the train? You heard the kidnapper say, San Grael. Yeah? The manuscript says the words, Holy Grail, were actually a mistranslation. The original phrase wasn't Sangreal or Holy Grail, but Sangreal. Sangreal? What's that mean? Blood royal, or royal blood. The Holy Grail is the bloodline, Gabriel. That's what's so creepy. Dun dun dun! I wonder if that's what they were saying on the train. It's royal blood. That's what I've been wondering. Kinda brings the whole vampire theory back onto the playing field, doesn't it? Yeah. Doesn't it? I'm still not sure I see the connection between Sinclair and Prince James's men. The manuscript did mention Prince James. It, it traced the various branches of the bloodline all the way down to the present day. It was obviously making the point that the Stuarts have the largest, purest amount of the blood, and Prince James is mentioned as the current Stuart heir. Did you get the impression that the manuscript was trying to set Prince James up for something? It certainly went to great lengths about his pedigree. I guess the royal families find that terribly irrelevant. What about rulership? Did it mention anything about a throne? Yeah, actually. It talked about the European Union a lot. How any system of government ideally has both a parliament and a monarchy. You don't think they're trying to... No. No, no, no. Position the House of Stuart as monarchs over the EU. Yeah, I think that's exactly what they're trying to do. Oh, God. No wonder Sinclair is hiding out here. Is there, um... Uh... Is there anything more in there about the unicorn imagery? Um, a bit. You know all those medieval tapestries that show a unicorn in a garden or a, a unicorn being hunted? Yeah. Supposedly, they all represent the disposony being suppressed by the church. Oh. That doesn't sound like a moped. Prince James. Where's the manuscript? I've got to get it back to Larry before he runs to his boss and complains. It was right here. I left it on the table when I went to take my shower. Ooh, don't tell me that, Grace. Grace? Somebody must have taken it. Shh, yeah. Okay, let me think. It's about time I pinned down our old squirmy friend from the NOPD. I'll get him out of town for a bit. What about Prince James? Tell him I'm working on the case. I can't see him till I've got that manuscript or he'll have my head on a platter. You really think Mosley? Yeah, the bum. But do me a favor and look around here, just in case I'm wrong. Leave me the bike, will you? You can ride with Mosley. What? Come on, <laughs> how can I keep an eye on the others if you leave me stranded? Please? I don't believe this. Thanks. God. All right. So, 
I do want to go right into LSR, but I probably shouldn't be doing it. Oh, hey, Bukele, you're carrying something. Signore Bukele, is it just me, or does he seem particularly out of place here? Must be those black socks. And he came from... Boothanes. Madeline Boothanes. I don't know what I'd say. Well, Senor Kelly, what have you been up to? Oh, I uh, probably didn't have anything. Why anything. haven't we found it yet? I'm getting very discouraged, I can tell you. I thought Dr. Wayne had such promising leads, and with the additions we came up with... We mustn't give up yet, Lily. Perhaps. Oh, why can't we simply pay someone to dig it up? I certainly can't with my tendonitis. And you, no offense, darling, but you're taking too long. I'm trying. Still. Oh, sorry. Anyway, you said we couldn't let anyone else in on it. I know what I said. Oh, my. <sighs> Dr. Wen must be right, mustn't he? The great seed absolutely has to be here. Otherwise, how can one explain that cache of Egyptian artifacts he found here in 1963? Of course it's here. We'll finish off at the site today, then check the maps again tonight. Not me. I can't, I tell you. If we don't find it, I can't carry on one step further. Please don't say that, Lily. Everything's going to be fine. You notice how Madeline is here. I'd rather stick my tongue in a light socket. Wow. I'm sorry, Grace, dear, but Estelle and I really must talk alone. You don't mind terribly, do you? Uh, no. Thank you, Grace. All right. Anybody roaming the valley by any chance? Prince like a snag or things of the sort? I'll go get the book. All right, I wanted to check these parts. I think I'm getting close. Um. Okay, southwest arm is two sixteen forty five and forty two fifty five twelve. getting further. Nope. Increasing. Okay, so it's probably here. It's right around here, under that pile of rocks. What's that? It's a red handkerchief. Didn't Wilkes have one like that? He must have found this spot. Maybe that's why he was killed. That pile of rocks wouldn't look just a wee bit artificial, would it? Oh, can I? That pile of rocks would... Yeah, but can I grab the shovel, maybe? Something about it? I should go get the shovel. Not 
not enough. Where was Osiris when the star shone over Bethlehem? <sighs> I think I'd rather wait for Gabriel. It's okay. pretty dark in there. Huh? <sighs> this is the back of Mount Cardu, but I think the actual point of the hexagram is further up that way. Three guesses what it says. S-O-L in so many words. I have no idea what S-O-L means. Who are the Magi? Who's leaving these things? Okay. Um... I think at this point, yeah. Time for some more Le Serpent Rouge. Uh, let me... Do a quick check at how... Signor Kelly was doing. Oh. I don't know what I'd say to him if he answered. Signore Bucchelli's room. Signore Bucchelli! It's Mosley's Oh, uh, do I still have a key to Mosley's room? No. Oh, I'm realizing I should have probably grabbed a glass when those glasses are on the floor. Oh, well, that's fine for now. This riddle is fascinating. Email. Okay, Temple of Solomon was one fourth, then a half, then a fourth. Cool. Okay, uh, back to LSR. So, first of all, he said, Where did Blood and Pharaohs go? No, pretty good. Church, Osiris, and this is definitely from our hotel. And this just says who were the magic. Now, LSR read. Three is the trinity and the separation of the spheres. The three which are the four are the divisions of the temple. I began my journey in the shadows and completed it in the light. I had marked the site at last, there in the center of the most sacred space. At the summit of the mountain, the place stood out in the brilliance of the midday sun. It was guarded by the three knights' towers, the rooks, on the circuit of the divine horsemen of the abyss. Yeah. Osiris was part of the Star of Bethlehem. And it looks like it's about to, or just did, go into the same configuration again. Oh, okay. So there's like a star configuration thing. Which, uh, her all the birth of Jesus last time, so that's something. Well, if the secret brotherhood exists, they're no doubt in Renless Chateau this week. Everybody else is. The legendary Magi of the New Testament fame have been a subject of considerable occult debate. The Bible reports them as Mesopotamian wise men, astrology driven in ritual, and certainly not of Jewish origin, but relatively little actual historical data has been discovered about this group. Um. group called the Secret Brotherhood, which many believe still exists today. It's a group allegedly ancient with ties to the Egyptian priesthood and even beyond the veil of mystic time. Whether or not the Magi are one and the same with the Secret Brotherhood, they are fascinating for being one of the few non-Jewish religious groups we've shown in the Apostle Bible in the, Jewish, in the Hebrew Bible. Um, um, Magi, Osiris, uh, Rooks.
Yeah, okay. So we have our temple. Um, we need to get to, first of all, divide it as it's supposed to be divided. So it is a one to one division. Go here. Go here. Nope. Fucked up. I fucked up. This is the This is the point. 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 That's it. The divisions of the temple. That's the porch down by Lebec. Then the middle is the sanctuary, and the third part in the north must be the Holy of Holies. Hey. Okay. Didn't need a hint uh, on the one, so that's nice. Oh, I guess we're not done. Center of the most sacred space. So it's just off a dot here? The center of the Holy of Holies. I think that's the site. It's on Mount Cardu. I'll write down the coordinates. All right. Uh, let me go check it out. Why not? Something time moved, and yeah, you're still where you are. Okay. Well, I guess I should go up there and check it out. Wow, this is this is really nerve wracking. I think I'm close. Whoa, don't chill. Okay, and we are looking for... Oh, 21939 and 5606. We're gonna dig this up, but I honestly don't have a lot of expectations based on what we where we are. I should go get the shovel. Guess I have to give it a shot. I thought so. If the treasure's down there, it is way down there. This mountain is solid rock. Okay. On the other hand, our friend left a the message here. The ones who wove the vine in the Pharaoh's days weave it still. The ones who would steal the sacred wine long ago seek it still. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's talking about the vampires. Okay. Time slot has changed, but before we do, oh, I guess it is. Okay, thought I had binocular. Not the case. Maybe that, but uh, get free binox. No, no. Okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna go back and work on Le Sifon Rouge. Je regret. The maid, she gets no answer when she knocks. Monsieur Knight must be out. Merci beaucoup. I'll try again later. Oh, 
Grace. James, hello. It's nice to see you again. I was trying to find Gabriel. Um, he's out in the valley, I think, working on the case. Has he found anything? I think so, but he better tell you himself. I, I see, all right. I'm staying at the Villa Bethania. Some people were kind enough to offer it. W will you ask him to come by as soon as he gets back? Of course. Grace, thank you. No, I don't have the Binox. I need Binox. Hello, Mr. Baza. Have you been out today? Sorry, I need to pause it for a second. Because I need to see. It's pretty essential. Where do I find. Binoculars, use the binoculars. Eat. Oh, I might be too late for it. Oh, here and there, Ms. Nakamura, here and there. Please tell me those binoculars are still there. No. Okay. Things might not be as bad as they seem, because these are pretty essential. If I go here... Do you got a spare pair of binoculars? Yes! They hardly need two pairs of binoculars. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. I remember this being a thing and I forgot to grab it. I guess maybe I just didn't check for them last time. It was a mistake. Now that we have them. I mean, this crap elaborates. No. Or again. Hello. Nice to see. Oh, good Lord. Something about this board is fucking infuriating. Mm. Yeah, if I if I pick a specific spot, does it? Let me check one more thing.
How do I? Oh. There. And do I have some roll function? New with space bar or shift and control. Like I get your camera's kinda of stuck on three possible stages. Like it's it's either this middle level the issue is that this one we need to do. There's no oh. no. I think a technical difficulty might kind of betray this. On that spot. Still low. Left. It's there. It's there. Oh. Why is there no way to tilt this down? I Somebody did it. By that big orange rock that's off the main road. Oh my god. VDG nine four five F. I wonder who that is. Uh, it's Bukali. By exclusion, it's Bukali. I am so happy we managed to do that because I was worried as heck about getting that to work. What? What? It's supposed to appear as a destination.
What? Yeah, I'll just skip it as grace. Let's just do something that is actually fun for now. I think I'm gonna, it's gonna cost me some points, but who the fuck cares about points anyway? Oh, that made me so angry. I got it! And it just didn't, didn't fucking register as a destination on the map. Like, what the fucking fuck? Oh. At the window of the ruined house, I looked across the trees denuded by autumn. Close to me, a presence, its feet in the water, like one who has just received the mark of baptism. I recall the inscription, et in Arcadia ego, blank, blank, blank. Through some selfish inspiration, I found the missing three. The dust settled, and I saw at last. Curses, I know the truth. He is there, dead. The broken bread lies forgotten beneath the altar. All right. I know exactly what I need to do here, namely open up my Arcadia Ego file. And anagram. We need not to build a phrase with it. Maybe that's where we actually need to. I found the missing three letters. Soon. I have a feeling that's not all, though. The Serpent Rouge talks about dust settling. In crossword puzzle lingo, that implies there's an, an anagram in here somewhere. I should try to analyze it. I... Actually, Arkham Day. Eus? No. I like the Arkham. I touched the tomb of God, oh Jesus. God. I mean, oh, my God. Yep. So, guess that means that Jesus is buried here of sorts? But the worst is yet to come. How many have pillaged the house, using the most sacred for purposes most foul? I turn north. Facing me, I see unwinding endless by its coils, the enormous red serpent mentioned in the documents, rigid and bitter. The huge unleashed beast at the foot of the White Mountain becomes scarlet with greed and drunk with stolen and profane communion. Deliver me out of the mire. So this one is pretty cool because if you go back to the very front, eat a snake. Cool. Well, let's go back to our map. Let me see what Grace has to say about version of it, because I, I don't like the fact that I'm just my previous knowledge for it. Turning to the north. Okay, that must be north of the site. 
I see the red serpent rigid and bitter. Must be talking about some kind of landmark feature. Well, hello. Isn't this thing just our little snake? Yep, that's it. That's the red serpent. That's weird. It must point out something. Okay. We almost have to close it, but let's try doing I one more. I'm aware of the scent of the perfume which impregnates the sepulcher of the one I must release. Cursing the profane in their ashes, and those who follow their ways, returning from the darkness while making a gesture of horror at the abyss into which I had plunged. Here is the proof that I knew the secret seal of Solomon, and I had visited the secret places of the queen who watches over the king. Take heed, my friend. Do not add or take away one iota. Think and think again. The base lead of my words may contain the purest gold. Let he who has the understanding use it with wisdom. That's the last page. Oh, this is literally the last I part of the form. I want to break from Le Serpent Rouge for a while. Okay. I've only got one more stanza, Capricorn. I am aware of the scent of the perfume which impregnates the sepulchre of the one I must remove. Sepulchre, not sepulchre. Cursing the profane oh. in their ashes and those who follow their ways, I return from the darkness while making a gesture of horror at the abyss into which I had plunged. Here is the proof that I knew the secret seal of Solomon and had visited the secret places of the queen who watches over the king. They must be talking about going down into the cave. Take heed, my friend. Do not add or take away one iota. Think and think again. The base lead of my words may contain the purest gold. Let he who has the understanding use it with wisdom. Hello. Hey, Mose. You're back. Yep. Gabriel and I, <laughs> we headed out. We did? Uh-huh. Guess my little secret is, uh, out in the open now. Huh. Is Gabriel here? I've had some real breakthroughs with Sydney. Yeah, he wanted me to come get you. He's holding a meeting in the dining room. A meeting? Well, this ought to be interesting. All right, let's save. It's a shame that uh, we have to close it here uh, because we're very close to the ending. I think this might actually be the last time slot. Um, but uh, my time for tonight is up. Actually, I guess there is one more time slot to wrap everything. So, uh, yeah, I, th I think we might actually just at least finish this on Sunday and then maybe go back and Play Prince of Persia for a little bit, but I definitely want to finish this. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for sticking around while I was uh, fucking hating the fucking binoculars and fucking shit that were doing to me. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, I will be back on Sunday. In the meantime, uh, take care.